Now, only on WRTV, more people are being hired to handle unemployment claims than are being appealed. And Lauren, that's happening as the next wave of unemployment assistance payments involving that extra $300 are going out today. We're talking about some 96,000 Hoosiers. Overall, the new federal funding will help Hoosiers through three new separate federal programs. So this is really a critical time to protect your personal information. The state says that criminals are using stolen personal identities to cash in on people's benefits. A fake website was exposed just several days ago. The state shut that down, but it's not known how many people were innocently tricked into giving up their personal information. The agency's official website is in.gov forward slash DWD. Anything else should raise a red flag. And payments can be delayed because of fraud or if an employer raises a challenge. What is the agency's commitment to those folks that still have uh, claims that are under appeal? How quickly can those folks expect to see something, especially those that say that they're still waiting to get their dollars? Sure. Uh, we are continuing to try to reduce the number of the, the amount of time that individuals are waiting specifically uh, for their claims uh, on appeals. So we have a third party uh, that we've been working with, uh, Naviant. And Navion is assisting with the processing request uh, for appeals and setting up hearings. Uh, we are also hiring additional contract attorneys to assist as administrative law judges to help complete the appeals process. I'm told that the hiring and the training of those new administrative law judges, Lauren, will begin as soon as possible. And Raphael, through all this, we want to make sure that there's systems in place to protect people, especially when they're at their most vulnerable. Can you talk to us a little bit about fraud and if we have any specific, specific numbers on that in our state? Well, DWD is working on getting me those numbers because we want to know those numbers and they're working on that. But the fraud is happening and the big fear, Lauren, is that the wrong person will get paid out. And talk about really a paperwork nightmare because normally people victimized by ID theft in Indiana must face weeks or even up to six months before they can restore their name. So again, the point is not to pay the wrong person and fraud is a major concern this morning here in Indiana.